sugar babe and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do slightly different video for between the vlogs and I will do a little review video of the products which I ordered <laughs> what I have been using long a long time and I have shown you over my channel as well but there has been a little change and I have two different brands if you see already from the title you know what I'm gonna talk about today a few of my own friends my family members and uh, people online have been asking about the hair removal what do I recommend as I am ex-cosmetologist I've been um, doing the waxing pedicures manicures facials and all of the cosmetology stuff previously in my working days in my previous career um, but honestly on my opinion I do like a good hair removal I do use hair removal creams and uh, by Veet I absolutely love it for a certain area then I also have the waxing bullets uh, rollers hard wax which you don't have to use the paper so and also I do use in these products first time when I bought the brown epilator was 2010 or 2011 and since then I never have looked back this one uh, particularly is my second epilator as I've been using the epilator so long time and I I always preach about the epilators how good they are um, my mom also uh, got herself now <laughs> the epilator after so many years and she absolutely love it as well leave me down below if you do um, epilating do you do on the dry skin or you do on the wet skin uh, so and what type of machine you use what do you recommend what type of machines you have used before so just let me know all of these things also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet you can join us sugar babes here on YouTube and also you can follow me on Instagram both platforms totally free for you to watch and learn more about beauty fashion luxury lifestyle on my channel and through my Instagram so you are welcome to join both this is the Philips Epilator 8000 and I got it because it was such a good price on Amazon uh, original price I think it is 120 pounds and in um, Amazon it's at the moment 69 pounds so if you want to get it get it so you definitely don't want to go in with this machine full on in your bikini area because that's gonna be freaking painful um, so that's how this one looks like I haven't used Philips one ever so as you can see with my epilator it's totally different shape it's actually more handy to hold in your hand the silk epil is slightly more bulky and so let's see what's the different of the sound so this is my old epilator so that's the full speed and it also comes with the light this one also comes with the little light here so let's see how this one works this has the first setting and second setting that's the second this comparing to the brown is really really noisy oh my gosh it's really noisy it's really really noisy it makes a lot of noise but I don't want to show too much this one because on comparison baby Philips I have also the brown so this is the brown beauty set 9 my lovely person bought me this one actually little surprise so this one I didn't buy I bought this one and I bought those same day so that was such a surprise but this is full set I usually buy just a later without these extras but again sometimes it's really lovely to use it so maybe the face brush I will add in my table and winter shop if you guys are interested because I know I'm not gonna use those and the previous one as well I sold in my winter app so if you are interested I will put it there with a really good price so you can get it for yourself so this is the new one um, Sensor Smart Ep Silk Apple 9 also my old one is Silk Apple 9 but this is lovely and pink color as this was the blue color and I was waiting to film this video because I wanted to do the comparison with these two brands there's not many videos comparison with the Philips and brown as you can see the brown epilators are much more expensive than the Philips ones I wanted to see the comparison like which one is more nicer so this comes with the body brushes in here separate the stand the charging stand let's open the bag white bags but this is actually really really love it I actually love this much much better it's really nice and girly and then we do have it has two settings 
Uh, it's not a charge at the moment, but you will get the little idea if you have the charger in your bathroom. But if not, you can get the adapter for this. What I do have, always for cute little pink Velcro bag. It's much bigger size than the usual ones. Inside it has a little separate pocket as well. It comes with the dock. Uh, before they didn't have a dock, they had just a cable. So this is really handy, uh, update for the charger. And then this is the brush. Switch it on, different settings one way, another way. And really quiet as well, it doesn't make a lot of noise. I have a little button, which you can just it's gonna jump out from this really, really easy to attach. And if you want to change it, you just push it upwards and you can attach uh, a plater in here. Also, they have a battery for your face shaver. More narrow cap on it. Brush is really handy to clean the discs between because the hair does get stuck. And then it comes with this attachment where you put the body brushes bouncy silicone brush. Every epilator I have had this sub of the pink and white brush. It's lovely but it takes time to use and then also with the stronger brush. Really lovely to use on your bum area, on your leg. If you get problem with the ingrown hairs, these actually this, these two brushes they're gonna be really handy as they are motor so you don't need any hand brush to use but if you love to use dry brushing uh, regular basis you don't really have to, you, it's not really necessary to use those. This is the new silk apple and this is the Philips. Philips is much uh, longer and the brown is slightly more bulkier but slightly more smaller and then as you can see the cap heads is different style as well. This has the little massagers in front so this one is with the metal and with the plastic. This is just plastic and the shape is sort of different. This is straight but this is slightly like a roundish shape and so that's the difference. Uh, this one has lamp here, this one has lamp in this area. So this one you have to press down, this one you can just switch on one setting, the second setting and both of them you can use dry or wet. And in a Philips pack you get shaver well so you can have different lengths, closer contact head, this one for your face or for your bikini line, it's gonna take slightly less hairs and then it comes with this little bag exfoliating glove in this bag and of course it comes with the UK plug which is a bonus for a uh, Philips one so you can just plug it easily in your wall so you don't have to use any adapters and this is how this one looks like close and there's also a button where you can just easily clip it off that's how it looks like but one thing it does make a lot of noise. This is my old silk apple and this is the new silk apple. If you see the design has changed much. I just covered this because it's full of hairs. Um, and then in front, as you can see as well, uh, they are different series. So the pink one is newer series. What I like about the uh, brown is that this area is really lovely and shiny, especially when it hits just the light. If you come in a sunshine, it actually has this diamond iridescent. All right, guys, I just test out both of these epilators. And unfortunately, I have to say, the brown wins this time. Uh, both of them are with wet and dry. You can use both. I do before showers. So I always do on the dry skin because I feel like I had the better control over it and also it grabs the hair better because my hair if you do the math i have done uh, the epilating such a such a long time it, which means my hairs are really really fine and they are naturally more finer hair with this epilator i do use other arms all over my hands all over my legs and i trim the bikini area and my toes as well because the toes they have also hairs on it um which is kind of crazy but it is and at the moment brown has one Mainly because I feel like with the metal uh, plates instead of just plastic plates, I feel it grabs the hair much better. Also, it was more closer to my skin than this one. I'm not sure is that the shape of this design um, that it has the edges on it. I really needed to push really too much into my skin until on one of my legs the skin slightly came off and that my skin is red now. Also the white powder, basically my top layer of the skin, the dry skin started to powder off because it was just scratching the skin and it didn't catch my hair so well. As a consumer, 
to use this was much more easier than this especially on my tie areas I really needed to press it in rather than this just slide it I'm not sure if this is the attachment on this but this is the classic attachment so I didn't change it this attachment at the little bits they are like slightly massaging your skin sometimes they feel a tiny bit like they are really poking your skin but they really have to pull out the hairs before it's gonna attach between the plates so I have to say the cheaper one is cheaper and the quality is cheaper uh, rather than to pay slightly more bucks you get an um, amazing product which is gonna last you longer so I don't even know how much uh, one or another gonna last how rate wise definitely not for me and I have been using them as I said depilate for such a long time and I feel like a with value wise as well although this is 69 pounds but you get less attachments brown one I check all of this is on offer with 170 pounds right now if you're interested it's amazing to give to someone as well it comes with a lovely pouch I absolutely love the pouch it's really really lovely if you have to take it on your holiday you have a face brush you have face attachment with this you have so many different heads for this uh, epilator as well as well two different uh, attachments for the face brush so I feel like value wise you still get more with the brown as from my own experience the brown gonna last you such a long time so I feel like this Senso Smart has one I also checked lots of reviews before I purchased this one but I think I just bought the wrong model to be honest because and I don't know even how to remove this this attachment is not coming off where you should put these other attachments so i'm not sure what's that all about but yeah so this is a little review today i'll leave all the things what i'm using down below and what i show you today down below so you can check them out and most of the stuff you can get from amazon with the really good prices um so i just feel like this one was not for me as i'm kind of like advanced ventilator gal um, so that's a little review, um, lovely packaging, so many different models out there and they have lost me a really long time. I hope this video helped you out. If you have watched until the end now, you can put a thumbs up for the video, leave the comments down below, what's your thoughts, what you want to see more on my channel. If you finish this video, you can go on my channel, check the playlist, play all the other videos, check about the hair, about the makeups, about the lifestyle, about the new vlogs, so you can keep up and check out all of this and you can catch up with my previous videos and until next time i hope you are safe loved and welcome to the family Mwah.